Hey everyone, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas, and today I'm going to be changing out. <laughs> uh, well, I don't want to say too much other than do not buy this. Uh, I've changed this pump out three times, and it's horrible. Um, and it's not easy either, so because I have to readjust pi <laughs> piping and all that stuff. So, anyways, um, I got this at Harbor Freight. So, what was I expecting? Um, 264 gallons per hour and I'm switching it out with this beefcake from Aquatic Life uh, thank you guys for sending me this pump um, this one it's uh, 568 gallons per hour so this one's a beefcake this one should really get my uh, water flowing through my system really good and um, really help out with um, you know water exchanging basically through the filtration because um, my grow beds are basically the filters and I only have three right now I'm not done with this one but um, I only have these two really um, but I'm going to be expanding that out to here and have some bigger IBC totes and stuff take these out all three of these beds out and make like a sink and stuff over there my wife wants to move <coughs> basically the patio over there <laughs> so and I'm going to be putting it in here I already took out the other pump, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting ready to install this puppy and see how it all goes. So um, I want to show you guys the flow rates of these and everything, so let's get to it. All right, so if we look down inside of here, the pump's down there, okay? The water might look all green and dirty, but it's just algae growing actually on the sides of the tank. The water is actually pretty pretty clean, so it did, it did a, an okay job. But like I said, the motor just keeps burning out. So what we want to do is we want to just basically separate these. And how you do that is, oh yeah, loosen this up down there. Okay. There we go, there's one side. And there's the other side. And this is the pump. And it's running right now, but it will not pump water anymore. So it's pretty much done. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch this out with the new one. And I'll put them side by side so you can see size comparison and all that. <clears throat> I wish I could have showed you the flow rate, but this thing didn't even last long enough to really show you that. So let's go to the next part. All right, here we go. Size comparison. This little guy. This hot rod. <laughs> So, I went to Home Depot, got some parts to connect to this end, and that'll uh, allow me to connect it to my PVC. I just need to make some adjustments on my PVC height. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I should have this thing running. Okay, now that's the flow rate of this one. Of course, it works outside the, uh, um, the system. So let's put the new pump on this thing, and let's see it run. But this is what it looks like. All right, so we'll put the new one on it and we'll see how it works. All right, so I've got to show you the flow rate on this one. Get all the air bubbles out. Okay, and then I'll plug it in. And whoa! <laughs> so yeah, a lot higher flow rate and uh, looking good. So let's get it hooked up to the system. All right, so we have this standpipe that was going into here, right? And that brought it up to those two pipes there. And the T, the fish juice or the T, the water split off from there, goes to my fish tank. And from there, tees off into my grow beds, which I'm not done building. I'm gonna put another one over there. I'm gonna be adding IBC grow beds over here, um, so it's going to be pretty pimp. But, anyways, so um, with the height, um, just keep in mind that if you're changing out your pumps, um, you want to make sure that you compensate basically for the height of the new pump. So, and fittings. So, this would sink down into there, so that'd give me about a half inch off. <coughs> and then, if you look at the height of the pumps, obviously this one's bigger. 
So I don't really need to tell you guys this, obviously. I mean, you're gonna need to adjust your PVC size, basically, to fit um, to how you had it last. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut on this and install this and start running it. All right, so yeah, see how I wore my sandals in the background there? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna make my cut here. Um, and I don't need that fitting that's actually on the end there anymore. Look at the end of that. I don't need that fitting anymore, so I'm just gonna make the cut. Love these PVC cutters. Got a big one because I cut bigger pipe as well, so. And then on to the next step. All right, so this is about it right here. <laughs> just gotta pop this in. Trying to push it down. Trying to make that T fit. So, anyway, there we go. Now I'm gonna put it in the system. All right, let's get this push back on. The pump's coming up a little higher, so later on I'm gonna add more pipe. Um, it's screwed on, to get, it's screwed together, so it's still fitting really good, but it's hovering in the air, or hovering in the water, and I want it to sit on the bottom, so. But anyways, let's plug this thing in, and I'll show you the flow rate coming out of the fish tank and also my grow beds. All right, now I'm gonna turn on the tap here first before I turn on my grow beds, but um, before you basically turn on the tap, and sorry it's a little dark, you guys, but before you turn on the tap, you wanna add something over your uh, pipe because the uh, pump that I had going, it wasn't that strong. Um, so basically, a lot of stuff's probably stuck inside the pipe. So I wanna try to catch as much of that as I can. And so I'm using one of these old dress up socks uh, cause I don't get dressed up anymore. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and let's turn this on and see if anything clouds the water a little bit. Wow, way more power. Uh, it looks pretty good actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this sock off so you guys can see the flow rate. I wish I showed you guys before the other one burnt out. That is way more. That's good. Okay. Yeah, and there was a lot of stuff in the sock. I just let it out by accident. <laughs> so, but that's okay. So anyway, we got this going and uh, I'll show you the grow beds now. All right, so right off the bat, uh, this pump's going now, and uh, the flow rate is, I mean, just amazing. So, um, which is really gonna help with uh, uh, filtration and all that stuff, um, and just moving stuff around really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my beds now, um, and I'm gonna turn them on full blast, because I wanna see basically what the flow rate is. Um, you know, I already have, uh, it going in my fish tank and now I want to see what it's like in the grow beds and try to clean out anything. Um, sometimes there's going to be solids uh, and I'm, I'm bringing this up and I know this makes the video a little longer but um, there's solids that basically come through here um, because I don't have a radio flow filter set up <clears throat> but um, with the higher flow rates uh, you're going to get more solids in your grow beds and eventually you can you can have an anaerobic um, situation if too much builds up in here. And uh, I do have worms like night crawlers and stuff in here and uh, red wigglers, but um, you know, <coughs> they can only eat so much. I mean, it's, it's like a smorgasbord, you know? But anyways, um, so the flow rates that increase are gonna basically increase solids in your bed. So you wanna set up some kind of filtration uh, to basically uh, catch a lot of those solids. But let's go ahead and let's open this up. I mean, just all the way. Way more. <laughs> That's actually too much. Um, I'm gonna open this one up. And usually you have to even them out. So like if this one has a lot of pressure, this one has um, a little pressure. So you wanna kinda crank this one down a little bit to get them to even out. There you go. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna actually run them for a little while like this just to see, you know, um, how it goes and stuff. But if you have it this high, and I'll, I'll address this in other videos, you wanna address, uh, you wanna send these way down. Um, you wanna send them to about, sorry, it's hard to see. Well, you'll see, in, once you get your grow bed set up and you get your water flow and stuff, 
Um, you can basically play, you have to play with it to see where the sweet spot is for the uh, bell siphon to initiate and all that. So anyways, um, I wanted to thank Aquatic Life. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for sending me this pump. Uh, it's it's a huge answer for me. Uh, I really needed to up my uh, my um, flow rates, and this is just going to help me tremendously. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button to get all our video updates. Oh yeah, we do have other channels now, so please check them out. Like always, God bless.